Well, uh, I saw um, I saw Loving, and did you uh, like it? Yeah, I did. I, I <laughs> thought it was uh, one of maybe, maybe Jeff Nichols' best movie so far. I mean, I thought it was extremely even-handed. Mm-hmm. Uh, didn't uh, it, it's an inc- incredibly quiet movie. I mean, <laughs> the two lead characters don't say very much in it. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, the film itself doesn't uh, doesn't bend to those kind of uh, you know civil rights era kind of cliches. Of, it doesn't uh, preach, har- 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 you know, lots of horrible uh, you know racist white men around and stuff. I mean, they're there, but uh, really, all we the the only one we really get to know uh closely is is the sheriff uh who who struck me as kind of like a young Arlie Ermy or something like that. I mean, yes, I, he did. I, yes. I couldn't believe how much he looked like Arlie Ermy, but uh, uh uh he's about the only character that uh is uh villainous in the film. Uh it, it's also great in terms of Showing how uh, it, it, white people and uh, black people uh, could uh, could coexist, you know, at the dinner tables at that time mm-hmm. uh, without uh, you know being at each other's throats. So that was refreshing. Um, I thought it had a kind of a wonderful kind of open air quality about it that uh, you know obviously. Uh, becomes more intense uh, uh, when they're, you know, actually living out in the country as they want to, as the couple wants to be. Uh, uh, but uh, they're forced to move and live in the city, which uh, uh, doesn't uh, conform to their wishes. And uh, I, I, I just thought it was a, an incredibly. Uh, um, Uncliched uh, look at at this time period and, yeah. and this particular this particular couple, and I thought it was also interesting just to to realize, you know, when you first see the shot of the uh, the uh, Supreme Court, which is where their case is destined, uh, uh, you know. Th- you realize, wow, small, big things come from really small beginnings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I thought it I thought it was a very, very good movie, and uh, yeah. two uh, two extremely great lead performances. I mean, uh, Edgerton is just uh, amazing how he just falls into this character. Yeah, uh, I, I think. Yeah. What we both like about it, it doesn't preach. Yeah, it's not talking down to us, which I do think is a mistake of a lot of movies um, that try to do this. They want to be history lessons, and they somewhat forget that they're also supposed to tell a story, but they end up preaching to you, which is the worst kind of which is the worst kind of storytelling. Um, I think I, I think that's it. I mean, when the movie when your when your when your screenplay basically becomes dogma of some sort. That's not. That's no longer movie making. Um, mm-hmm. And I just love it that this is really a story. This is just really a story about a man and a woman who love each other. Mm-hmm. That's really what it is. And, I mean, and how it really, even when the bigger questions come into play, it remains that. Yeah. Uh, it, it 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 stays that uh, that simple it's, story. That great line and, when he says, "Is there anything you want me to tell the court?" And he says, "Yeah, just tell him I love my wife." Yeah, I mean that's, that's a powerful that's a, line. That's a powerful yeah. scene. I mean, that's just like wow, because that's what this is all about. 